Hey everyone, I'm Tefel from Archeo Project. So this is third part of our character tutorial. I just recommend you to check quickly previous parts and try to do the same by following my work step by step. Okay, so this time we'll take a look at physics and interaction with meshes and having fun with them. We also create collisions for punches, finding a way to turn off collisions for body, just not to interact with uh, elements, but still be not able to walk through attaching elements to body and sockets, messing around with collisions presets and checking other behaviors, using bond modifier, and in the end our character will have two types of punches, one stronger one and just normal one. Okay, so this is our continuation, just uh, punching, crouching and moving around. So for now I would like to select some meshes and make this bigger because I need more room for future objects. Okay, and first thing I would like to do is just selecting uh, our mesh, cube mesh and so, uh, add some physics to this. Just simulate physics and mass in kilograms, let's say 20. So for now I can check this out. When I get closer, just pushing this, it's moving around using physics so it's okay okay uh, and I need uh, build lighting and as you can see our character has something around this is capsule and this is uh, collision uh, area for this uh, character yeah and this is not perfect be because it's not accurate and there is no collision for hands or any other part is just for whole character let's say body yeah? so I don't want to use this uh, capsule component with interaction with other elements but instead of this I just want to create uh, some collision boxes collision for hands so to do this we just go to inside a uh, third person character and viewport just creating um, component which is collision sphere collision in this moment we don't have to add use this too much because it will be attached anyway to our bone but we just need to set shape sphere radius to 16 okay and we go to construction script and we can use uh, attach to which basically is uh, attaching to one bone or socket so in this case we just use our bone but we want to know which uh, name uh, it has yeah so we just go to mesh, uh, mannequin, skeleton and we can select right here it's hand R and second one it's hand L it's the same here hand L hand R yeah so we can remember that and we can just type it here hand L it's for first collision and we just need to uh, attach type snap to target and when I compile uh, you can see it's just attached to this bone here yeah? to this hand yeah so I can just take my uh, sphere and can make this visible in the game one more thing just overlapping no just blocking all uh, collision preset yeah so compile save and right now if I get closer I can test this out mm, and punching it's working but like I said before, it's not ideal because my body is still interacting with this character. So I need to get rid of this behavior, yeah, because it's unwanted behavior, yeah, for me. So we can just test if uh, changing a preset would do anything, yeah. And we have two types of collisions. This, uh, like I said before, this uh, big one it's just type of pawn and the small one this sphere one is just type of uh, word static so we can just uh, ignore this uh, big one and we can uh, check how it works yeah so collision just we can set custom one and if I ignore pawn so just the body of my character it's still not ideal because I just walk through but this time I cannot just uh, use my, my body to move this object so it's slightly better but it's not ideal so still I need to find another solution 
Okay, so what we can do next? And get rid of this behavior, yeah. So we can just select this uh, cube mesh, Control B, finding this, uh, creating uh, asset action, create blueprint, and actor. So I created actor with just cube mesh, static mesh. So I need to add component, which will be scene. It will be child connected to this. And next one will be uh, collision box. And I set this to 52. It will be slightly bigger than my uh, static mesh. And as you can see, this box uh, can be uh, another uh, collision for checking uh, and den denying just uh, my character uh, just walking through this object. Okay, and for box, uh, I just need to set uh, some preset. So collision, I just need to make this uh, blocking all, maybe custom, and setting to pawn, uh, word static. And the rest things I need to ignore instead of pawn, which is basically my character. So my character won't be able to move through this, uh, through this box, yeah, and through this object. And it should be fine, but I need to set my static mesh uh, just physics like before massive uh, mass 20 kilograms. And one more thing, uh, okay, it can be physics actor, and we can uh, just check this out. So when I go to my blueprints, uh, put my actor inside my scene, change size and make this in the middle i can finally test this and when i walk through i cannot yeah but i can still punch so this is uh, exactly what i wanted to achieve here yeah? and finally this works and uh, the second behavior just uh, reminds me object like uh, maybe sphere so we can just make this uh, changing to sphere Okay, because when I just push this, I should be able yeah, to move this around yeah, and be able to... Okay, so we have two objects. And it, it looks really nice. And third one will be maybe destructible mesh. Yeah. So we just go to content, let's check uh, some mesh. And we can use just this one, bump static mesh. So I just take this and make create destructible mesh with a, a number of chunks, let's say 50, and I have to enable impact damage. So to be able to just destroy this element, just punching here. Yeah. And when I fracture, I can test this. Yeah, and it looks really nice. So I can save this and I can use my uh, destructible mesh finally and I can test this out when I yeah and it's destroyed I can destroy rest okay so it looks really nice so I have uh, three types of elements and uh, physics yeah but I would like to add more for my character so I go to my montage and punching montage and I have two punches yeah but I would like to make one of these punches uh, stronger yeah uh, that's why I want to use my uh, curve which is uh, on the bottom and I can uh, set my curve right here in my montage but I, I can do it uh, in my fa fist punch R so I go to this animation and I can add my uh, variable curve create will be uh, punching curve so making this uh, bigger expand and I need to add three points let's say right here so first one it's time zero and value zero when it started last one it's uh, point eight so it's end and zero it's because uh, our uh, animation has 0.8 second 
right here and one point more uh, have to be for when it's punching so it will be right right here uh, okay so this is everything what we need from here we can save and we can use our curve so we can go to animation blueprint yeah and uh, from before we are saving uh, state machine just post to cache then we are using layer blend, blend per bone and our montage but I would like to add something uh, more so I just want to modify uh, bone and its transformation so I just want to scale this uh, slightly yeah just four times bigger will be our hand <laughs> And it will look uh, really nice. But uh, okay, so we just need to use curve. So I just get curve value. It was punching curve because it was from zero, but I want scale from one uh, to be a one, one, one. I can just link this, yeah. So when I compile, it's exactly the same, yeah when it's not punching but when start punching it will go to five yeah but we need to um, use this and uh, set bone to modify so this time will be hand r it's our right hand and second thing we need to link this so animation pose will be converted to local component and from local component to animation pose and this is final animation pose and I need to unselect translation and rotation because I'm uh, not using this and scale instead of ignore we just uh, add to existing and this is everything so we can uh, check this out just hit play and when I hit run uh, right punch it's just making this bigger and I really like this effect it's punching but it's going through Y because there is no collision so we just have to go to third person character and uh, just copy the sphere and paste this once again and this time it's on the right side and like before I don't have to add use this because I will attach but uh, we need to set radius to let's say 30 it will be just bigger punch this stronger one yeah and I can compile and I need to attach so in constructing script I want to make something different instead of uh, using my bone name I just use my socket so I need to create one so I go to my mesh once again skeleton and uh, selecting my hand R and I will create my socket which will be hand R socket and I can just move it slightly to the bottom okay and I think it looks okay it's in the middle okay should be fine with this socket so I can attach to this socket yeah so go back just copy this and this time will be hand our socket and I just use my sphere but this time this right one and selecting my mesh and the same attaching to and keep word scale okay so compile save and we can check this out as you can see there is a sphere on right, right hand yeah and it's using right punch yeah whoa, whoa. <laughs> so this is much stronger punch as you can see so, yeah and it looks really impressive okay <laughs> and we have left punch right punch left punch and stronger one right punch right punch okay so one more thing because I didn't uh, disable collision so if I get closer this uh, yeah this collide with uh, environment yeah so I need to get rid of this but this is really quickly uh, and simple fix I just go to controller 
new player controller and just uh, left mouse button and right mouse button when I pressed and when I released just getting a sphere one and second one and of course enable collision enable collision which is uh, no collision and uh, collision enabled for uh, punching yeah and I can select uh, these two to the one uh, to one element yeah so just linking this and no collision for released okay compile save and when I go uh, closer it shouldn't interact until I just uh, hit punch yeah okay so I just punch left punch left and it looks really nice and I think this is everything for uh, from this tutorial Whoa. and still everything works like before okay so everything uh, works like uh, intended <laughs> Okay, so next time I will tell you more about uh, notifies, uh, I will add some sounds, particles, effects and uh, yeah, more interactions. So if you like uh, content like this and want more stuff like this, please subscribe and of course see you next time. <laughs>